is not going to take long. Don't worry. You know why I'm here, right? I belong to the oratorical department of our college. And you know, we are provided with mentors who are supposed to train us. But my mentor, he is really a stupid guy. So he calls me one day and said I have an assignment. A stupid assignment. Well, he has assigned me to interview you. Why the hell do you want to interview me? See, we are actually taught to speak without fear and my mentor wants me to interview someone who is actually... Actually? I was asked by my speech mentor to come to you and to take notes on your... feelings... Feelings... Well, the feelings of... Look, look, I don't want to hide things from you. I was sent down to take notes on how you felt during your previous speeches. I mean, how things went on for you. Because that you... Because that I am an awful speaker, isn't it? How bad I made the speeches. Look, I didn't hurt you, right? No, you didn't hurt me. It's a fact that I am a terrible speaker. There is nothing wrong in what you said. Well, didn't I say that my mentor is a stupid guy? It's weird that he gave me such a project. I was asked to do it. I know how bad it is. It's the league. It's the club. I can't deny it. What do you want to know? Well, I want to know everything. Your feelings, your emotions. How did you feel during your speeches? You haven't added anything other than your formal greetings, have you? Uh, is there any problem with the topic? Looks like your soft skill column is going to be empty forever, huh? Next! Well, that's my problem. Whenever I try to make a speech in public, all terrible things happen to me. Whenever I go to the stage, everything I see becomes blurred. You know, they are wrong about heartbeats being regular. It beats very fast, hell fast. As if I'm going to have an attack. Do you want to know how it felt like? It was like burning alive. I didn't know why it was happening to me. I cannot answer that part alone. Because I don't have an answer. Well, that's all for your notes, right? Well, it is yes for my notes. And not for me. I made some background study on you before coming here. According to it, I have many questions unanswered. Either my investigation is wrong or you should have a hell lot of a tale to tell. Will you? You know the weirdest thing about mine? If you are stranded in the darkness for many years, the mind will eventually lose all hopes. But when it sees a small beam of light, a new hope points again and the mind wants to try again. Who is he? I'm Arjun. Today I saw... I saw your speech. I saw what happened. I know. I know how it felt. Your eyes trying to break all fear. Your lips trying to say something but failing all the time. I know how it felt. What do you want from me? Well, I can help you out there. I know. I know what you're against. Trust me, if you let it grow, it's going to be late. Though it hurt me, there was something right in what he said. When I searched, I found him to be my oratorical mentor. What? You had an oratorical mentor? I mean, sorry. How can that be possible? College do not provide mentors for toughers like me. But it seems he came voluntarily. But why? 
You started your training, right? Where did you start? Where did you start, Miss Madhu? Well, like everyone, the ceremonial announcement, where you get to announce about the upcoming events of the college, if any, to test your announcing skills. So how did you do it? I got an A grade. Well, even the same for me. Even I started with the ceremonial announcement. So it's pretty simple, right? No. I never said it was simple. I had a twist. Instead of announcing a real event, I was forced to do a fake one. Today's your first lesson. You know what? Go start with them. Them? No way. Those boys will be beat me to that if I go and say that. Not them, Duffer. Them. No way. I would be rather beaten up by those boys than go and talk to those girls. What? Come on. Even the bravest man is scared to talk to a lady. Then imagine the situation for a guy like me. Girls. Symbolism. VDV. Today. Uh. சரிய <laughs> <laughs> என்ன <laughs> 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 Do you see the ripples in this water? This is you. Imagine there's a podium before you. Stay calm and stand at ease. Have I ever told you the story of Vinod? He had a strange fear. You feared the mic and the audience. Whereas he had the fear of heights. The problem with you is you tend to see everything That's what makes you unstable. You lose all your confidence and that sense of shrill of fear through your body. Like this rippling water. Pretend to be looking at everyone, but don't see anyone. Though Vinod feared heights, he went on the greatest quest of his lifetime. To face his fear. He climbed up the mountain and went to the top of the hill. Relax. Stay calm. Remain in peace with your inner self. You are your best judge. Always remain focused and be confident all the while. You must always be conscious of your surroundings. Let the water in you settle. And now you see clearly. Talk with your face. Even if you do stupid things, people have to enjoy it. And that can happen only with your facial expression. On his journey to the top of the hill, he comes across a tree. From this point on, he cannot move further because all his emotions and fears comes back and haunts him. He retreats and goes back right to the bottom. Good morning everyone. Today I am going to talk about women empowerment in India. Even today in many remote places right? of India, female infanticide is practiced. I don't know how I'm going to do this. 
You want to hear a secret? The claps. It's like a drug. Once you hear it, you'll do anything to hear it back. But one day, he mustered up all his courage and went for his final ascent. He climbed and reached the same tree once again. What happened to Vinod finally? You don't want to know about it at the moment. It's my turn. All the best. Good morning. Today I'm going to speak about women empowerment in India. Well, you made it to the finals, right? How did you know? Well, everything is clear now. When I made a background study, I found that you made it to the finals. Well, everything is clear now, like the ripples of your water. So, what happened in the finals? I made my speech. Thank you. I don't know was it. Because I wasn't concentrating. But something magical happened. That's when I knew. I did not do it that. The claps. It's like a drug. Once you hear it, you'll do anything to hear it back. Wait, who did my father result? I've heard what I want to. What happened to Vinod finally? Well, uh, that depends on the listener. You should try this story with everyone. It's so inspiring. No, I have a better one now. Well, what was your result? Well, that doesn't matter. All that matters is going for the climb. Like Vinod. It's time for me to leave. Bye. It's Madhu. Didn't your mentor say? What did he say? That I'm a new mentor. And this was your first class. Meet me at the same place next. My mentor was not as stupid. He sent me here for a reason. So you won the finals. Well, as I said, it doesn't matter. All that matters is going for the climb. 